Hello, welcome back. Long time to see me. Uh, today I have um, a really interesting job, but unfortunately uh, you will see next on the video that uh, this customer is very unlucky. So what we got here today, we have a B-Max mini PC. Uh, the model number is B8 Pro, which is a really nice one. This is a i7 12th gen with uh, 24 gigs of RAM and uh, one, one terabyte drive, SSD drive. This is really nice specs. And uh, the problem with this specific uh, computer, mini computer, is that uh, it doesn't power on. So actually when you plug the power, it actually takes 19 volts DC here. And uh, once you plug the power, uh, there's nothing. It, the, the, the device is completely dead. So what I did, uh, I will, because I, I already know what, what is wrong with the device, what I initially did, I connected my power supply, my bench power supply, uh, providing 19 volts to the device, and I, I could see to the uh, current meter here that it was drawing 90 milliamps. So this is not normal. 90 milliamps is too much for a device that is off. So something was consuming these 90 milliamps. So what I uh, next did is I took my, let me show you, so I will connect my power supply now, which is on, to the device. So I have 90 volts to my power supply, and I connect here. So, yes, I can see 90 milliamps current draw right now. So if I take my thermal camera here, let me show you. So let me show you under the microscope these two chips. All right, so one of the chips that it was getting hot was this one. All right, and I will show you later this chip what it does. And the next thing that it was getting hot was this coil next to the uh, SIO chip, which is a five volt uh, power supply, this one. So I did some measurements, you know, with the multimeter, trying to see if there was a short around these chips, uh, a capacitor uh, shorted something, but it was nothing shorted. And then I thought, let's take out the heatsink and let's measure again with the thermal camera. And let me show you what is going on here. We have a dead PCH. This was the heat spot, the hot spot of the of the whole chip. Unfortunately, this customer is very unlucky because we cannot replace the CPU with a PCH. There is no part we can order. We have to find a similar motherboard with the same chip, extract it and put it on this one. But there's no point of doing this. So this device is unrepairable. And uh, I just want to post this video just for reference if someone has the same problem with this device I mean you connect a power supply and you can see a current uh, draw of around 90 milliamps 100 milliamps these milliamps are taken by the PCH which is actually faulty and uh, prevents the device from starting up so let me show you the chip, this Movoton uh, 3101S chip, which is actually a voltage regulator. And it, what it does, because I measure, it takes 3.3 volts on the input here, and it outputs one, uh, one volt. Actually, it was one, 
0.05 volts. So these volts actually go to the PCH chip. So that was the video. Thank you for watching. See you in the next one.